today. Hi everyone, I'm Sabrina Guo, a Sayasa High School student and the founder of Girl Pride International, a global organization that empowers marginalized migrant and refugee girls through advocacy, education, and material support. First, we would like to thank the Oyster Bay East Norwich Library for co-hosting with us this Marie Colvin tribute and artwork exhibition for the past few weeks. Special thanks to the Marie Colvin Memorial Foundation for supporting our mission and collaborating with us to promote the freedom of the press, justice, and peace. We'd also like to thank all the elected officials, community members, and of course our student artists for coming here today to celebrate the life and legacy of our local legend and hero, Marie Colvin. It has been 10 years since we lost Marie Colvin, one of the most well-known and respected journalists of our time. Her impressionable life and career are best epitomized by her own words. Bravery is not being afraid to be afraid. The light at the end of a dark tunnel, Colvin serves as a paragon not only to reporters all over the world, but to all those who pursue truth for the greater good. She truly earned the title of war correspondent. Known especially for her work in the Middle East, Colvin witnessed the Iran-Iraq War, the US wars with Iraq, and the revolutions in Tunisia, Egypt, Libya, and Syria. She saved 1,500 women and children in Indonesia in the UN compound during one of her trips. She refused to leave with the UN staff and sent reports out from the compound about the dire situation. Colvin's unwavering persistence led to the UN coming back and evacuating the 1,500 women and children. And thus, in the backdrop of Women's History Month, the atrocities of the current Ukrainian war, and the recent deaths of dozens of journalists and videographers covering the war in Ukraine, these public exhibits carry even greater meaning of what it means to report war stories as a journalist and photographer in the front lines, and to continue to fight for the freedoms of the press, justice, and peace. Now, we would like to conclude this event with a brief moment of silence to pay tribute to Marie and all of those who have given and continue to dedicate their lives to report war stories, as well as the journalists who were recently killed in the line of duty during the ongoing Ukrainian war. Actually, today, Catherine Colvin, Marie Colvin's young sister, um, and the founder of the Marie Colvin Memorial Foundation, said that she would have loved to attend, but she's actually in DC right now. Uh, but I'm sure that we'll see each other in the soon future. So now, I'd like to turn the podium over to Oyster Bay clerk Richard Lamarca, as of course Marie Colvin is an Oyster Bay native. Hi everybody, I'm always the big town clerk, Rich Lamarca, and I want to begin just by telling you that I have known the Colvin family for a lifetime. Um, I went to school with Marie's younger sister, Kat Colvin. In fact, we graduated high school together. Uh, Marie's mom, Rosemary Colvin, or Mrs. Colvin, uh, taught many of the classes that I took uh, throughout school. She was just a fantastic teacher, and uh, all the kids truly loved her. Um, you know, the Colvin family, has been just such an iconic family in the Oyster Bay East and Orange community. And as president of the Civic Association and a board member of many of the local groups here in Oyster Bay and East and Orange, I can tell you that we, the community, is just so incredibly proud of Marie Colvin and all of her accomplishments on a global basis. And I feel very privileged to be here today to honor Marie and to celebrate her life as we support uh, Girl Pride International. And on behalf of Supervisor Joe Saladino and the entire Town of Oyster Bay Board, I have a, present, a citation that I would like to present to you. And if I may, I would just like to read a little bit of the content therein. 
The Town of Oyster Bay is privileged to join in supporting Girl Pride International, an amazing organization that supports and advocates for girls, especially those who are disadvantaged or in need. Girl Pride International is a global girls empowerment organization inspired by former First Lady Michelle Obama's Let's Let Girls Learn initiative. The mission of Girl Pride International, which was founded by Sabrina Guo, is to focus on serving socioeconomically disadvantaged migrant and refugee girls and addresses their intellectual, material, and emotional needs. Girl Pride International also provides access to resources like education, academic scholarships, mentoring and counseling, ambassadorships, workshops, and other forms of empowerment. Through working with girls from diverse backgrounds and connecting them with resources and other girls around the globe, Girl, Girl Pride International fosters intercultural dialogue and builds bridges across borders, empowering today's girls to be tomorrow's leaders. Today's Marie Colvin exhibit, organized by Girl Pride International, provides the ideal backdrop to proclaim this day in honor of Girl Pride International. Marie Catherine Colvin grew up in the town of Oyster Bay and was a fearless foreign affairs correspondent and world-renowned journalist known for her empathy and humanitarian commitment. Now, therefore, we, the Oyster Bay Town Board, do hereby proclaim March 25th, 2022 to be Girl Pride International Day in the town of Oyster Bay, and we do proudly join with Girl Pride International in supporting and advocating for girls, especially those who are disadvantaged or in need, knowing they will be an important part of our world's future. Thank you, sir. Your uh, fellow members have uh, done such a great job, and um, we're very, very proud of you. And now I know why Rich is so smart, because this is all we've taught him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I had the honor of uh, uh, meeting Mrs. Colvin a few times, and um, Kat Colvin, uh, Marie's sister, uh, has become a good friend. And, um, and of course, you know, I, I know the tragic story of, of Marie, but the inspirational story of Marie is um, just so, so important. And when we look at what's going on today, and, and you referenced it, Sabrina, the importance of having a free press telling the world, unfortunately, the evil and the atrocities that are going on in the Ukraine, but also showing the, the brave people who are, who are fighting back. Uh, and that comes with a price. And you know, Marie um, you know, paid uh, with her life. And unfortunately, there have also been some journalists during this Ukrainian war who have who paid with their life as well. And so that's why I am so inspired by this wonderful artwork and, and messaging uh, uh, in memory of Marie and to carry forward uh, really her tradition and honor of making sure that we can all live in a free democracy. And I would like to introduce uh, my colleague, Senator Kevin Thomas, who has a proclamation for the yes. Senate. Absolutely. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you for doing something so good for the community and <coughs> putting her back in our minds again. You know, I unfortunately have not met Miss, Miss Colvin, but you are bringing her life back so that we can see that and get inspiration from it. And you and your entire group, all of you are the new leaders of this community. And for that, we have a state proclamation for you, all right? For all the great things that you're doing and going to be doing, because I only see greatness in this organization, all right? So, girl power. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's 